Let's see how to throw an error using assembly. For this example, we'll pass in an input x and do some check, and if the condition fails, then we'll throw an error. The way to throw an error inside assembly is to call the function called revert, passing in parameters p and s. Just like in Solidity, when there's an error, all state changes that were made up to that point will be undone. So what is this parameter p and s? p and s tells EBM which part of memory to return with the revert. P will be the start of the memory, and P plus S will be the end of the memory. And this is usually used to encode some kind of error message when we call the function revert. But for our example, we will just keep it simple and revert from P equal to 0 and S also equal to 0. In other words, we're going to revert without any error message. For our example, we will revert if X is greater than 10. So I'll type if greater than, if X is greater than 10, then we'll throw an error by typing revert. And for the memory location to return, you'll pass in 0, 0, meaning that we're not going to return any error message. Okay, and this is how you would throw an error using assembly. Let's try compiling this contract. I'll hit Control S inside my remix, and the code compiles. Okay, so let's now deploy this. Deploy the contract. And then let's call this function. So if we pass in an input of x less than or equal to 10, then we expect this function to pass. There will be no errors that will be thrown. So let's say we pass in 10, call the function, and the function passes without any errors. Okay, so next let's pass 11 for x. We expect this function to fail. Call the function, and the function fails. So this is how you would throw an error inside assembly, by calling the function revert.